Hey everyone, Technically Jeff here, and I really like astrophotography. I like taking photos of the moon, and today I'm reviewing something that makes that process easier and works really well. This is the Finder DW2 Telescope from Beaver Lab, and it is perfect for beginner to intermediate astrophotography lovers like myself, and I'm going to go over everything that is included with the kit and get it set up and show you how it works, and you'll see why I think this is something that is great for anybody that wants to get into astrophotography. So the Finder TW2 telescope is a refractor style telescope with an 82 millimeter lens and 500 millimeter focal length. And one of the cool things about it is that it comes with a digital camera that connects directly to the telescope's optical tube and makes it very easy to take really high quality photos and videos. And it has a high definition touchscreen that can flip up 180 degrees so you can see exactly what you're taking photos and videos of. And it works really well. You can also control it using your phone. It can take 48 megapixel photos and 4K video at 30 frames per second. It has wide dynamic range and several different shooting modes and AI correction algorithms built in that can really enhance your photos and videos. There's 32 gigs of internal storage and dual band Wi-Fi for getting the photos and videos off of the device. It has a six hour battery life and charges via USB-C, which is good. The kit also comes with a tripod, of course, and a red dot finder scope, which I really like. It makes it really easy to aim the telescope. It also comes with a solar filter, which is vital if you want to take photos and videos of the sun, a focal reducer, which gives you a wider field of view, a planisphere, a data cable, a manual, and it comes with a carrying bag, which makes it very easy to transport everything, and it only weighs about eight pounds. Now, to get it set up, you open up the tripod and set the telescope on top and screw in the bottom. The DS1 camera goes in the end and you turn it to lock it in place, and that's basically it. For the finder scope, there are knobs to calibrate it, and there's a knob to adjust the telescope's position as well and lock it in place once you have it aimed where you want it. There's a manual focus. If you've used a telescope before, it works just like you'd expect. Now let's get to testing it out. So I really like the red dot finder scope. It makes it easy to aim the telescope, and it really comes in handy. Once you have it aimed and set the focus, the picture quality is fantastic. These are some photos I got of the moon and they look great. There's a lot of detail there. And with some editing, you can make the photos look really cool. Here's a photo of the sun using the solar filter. It goes right in the middle of the dust cap. And again, it's very important to use the solar filter when viewing the sun, otherwise you'll likely damage things. And here's a video I got of the moon too. It's really cool. And you don't have to use it just for astrophotography. You can use it when viewing nature, at sporting events, basically anywhere you want to zoom in on a subject. Now you can use this to view other planets, but with its 500 millimeter focal length, it's not ideal for that. But you still can see Saturn's rings, which is cool. But overall, I'm very impressed with it. Setup is very easy. It's easy to use. Even my kids can use it with no problem. And the photo and video quality is solid. And again, looking at the moon is really cool. As for pricing, it's normally $499, but right now it's on sale on their website for $100 off. And promo code TechJeff saves you 10%. And for what you get, it is a solid deal. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Finder TW2 telescope. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.